hope it helps. Oh, oh, Bells, it's you. Um, <clears throat> Morris. Sir Morris, I suppose. I am serving as quartermaster for Skyhold and its arriving throngs. Stores are growing, and so long as we have fair coin to restock, you and yours will be well served. <clears throat> The previous quartermaster survived Haven. Where is she? She... had views. Has views. Perfectly legitimate ones, if you share them, Inquisitor. I believe it was felt that your quartermaster should be more palatable, now that the Inquisition is in Orlais. She continues to serve, just not at the fore. <laughs> what makes you ideal for this position? It's an important one. My family has ties to several freehold militias, as well as cousins acting as officers in Ferelden and Orlay. <laughs> and your qualifications? My family holds treaties with three new money to Vinter houses, and a rare Orzima contract with a Paragon namesake. And your qualifications? To be honest, Your Worship, that was my question. I am the nexus of a dozen threads tied by others, designed to cast the widest and most appealing resource net. But, I will rise to the occasion. Skyhold will want for nothing. I swear it. <clears throat> How's it going? Do we have what we need? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? You name it, it's here or on the way. I've wrung out the slackers, given them what for. I think... I think I like this job. As you are. We are here for you, Inquisitor. Inquisitor.
A working nursery with not a space wasted. We'll want for nothing. Inquisitor, the soldiers say you banished the demons at Adamant and freed the Grey Warden mages. I understand from Sister Leliana that the truth is somewhat more complex, but no less extraordinary. She said that you spoke with a figure in the Fade that seemed to be the soul of divine Justinia. I suspect many of the faithful would like to know what Justinia told you. She helped me remember what happened at the Conclave. The Maker didn't give me the mark on my hand. I was struck in battle. And Andraste didn't send me. The figure everyone saw was Divine Justinia. So, it is as you have always maintained. You must feel quite vindicated. I may not have believed, but part of me always hoped it was true. That I was the Herald of Andraste. Who is to say that you are not? Forget the mark. Forget the figure standing over you as you fell from the Fade. The people needed a sign that in this harsh and unforgiving world, there existed some reason to hope. And they found that in you. That's a generous interpretation of things, revered mother. Do you think the world shares it? Oh, she wasn't literally sent by Andraste, but she's still the herald, metaphorically. This is the trouble with metaphors and the educated. A farmer cannot understand the truth of the Maker, so he learns that the Maker is a man, but greater. A mage learns the same thing, knows it to be simplistic, and feels clever for realizing it is not literally true. But a metaphor is not a lie. It is a tool to help people understand something beyond them. And we need such a tool. I don't need metaphors right now with everything Corypheus is doing. I need the truth. Everyone says that when their lives are difficult. Everyone looks for some secret message. You might look upon the face of the Maker himself in a vision, but ultimately, even that would be just another metaphor. The truth is that he made this world, and he put us here to learn. That is all you can do. I'd like information on how the fight against Corypheus is affecting the common folk. They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? <laughs> 